<laughs> so be as it may. Uh, talk about lithiums and battery safety. I'd recently made a post about the electric chopper on a Razor forum and uh, doing the DIY battery, which is in one of my other builds, and the electric chopper. Uh, so, I didn't get it on video. Unfortunately, my garage security cam was not on, but it's uh, coming off of quarantine. I had some decent weather and decided to go ahead and charge up the lithium batteries that's been on the electric chopper. Now, in my original build video, I did do a 14S pack and it was just salvage cells. So there was no real cell level fusing yet. wasn't really worried about the cells and uh, I knew this going into it. So it's all been soldered together with the regular uh, strips, nickel strips, no fusing whatsoever and yeah, questionable shell, the cells. So knowing this, when I'd done the chopper build, I eventually did put the cells into a metal night vision goggle case. It's the only difference between it and an ammo can is, is this one's turned up on end and it has foam lining. So then I could go and test it, make sure everything's working out, etc. And then I also have the other 14S build uh, that's inside of the green case that's on the list as well. That one I did do cell level fusing because I wanted it underneath the seat. And obviously if I'm sitting on top of it, I don't want it catching on fire. So I did, I come out, I got my regular uh, 14S charger, 10 amp, uh, checked the voltage beforehand. It wasn't all that great, I like two and a half or three volts per cell for both of them since they were in parallel. Uh, no big deal. So I stuck the 10 amp charger on it and um, went downstairs. So <sighs> me and the oldest boy are sitting there. We hear a couple of noises, didn't think anything of it. And then I told him, I said, I'm gonna go check on that. And sure enough, it was the lithium cells popping. So run out to the garage, the garage is filled full of smoke, hurry up and turn off the charger, run around for, you know, open up the garage door, run around front. And uh, it did, it caught fire. Um, I unfortunately did not get it on camera, as I said. I did get a post video of after trying to put it out. Um, it caught fire in the garage. It actually melted down the connector. So this was actually in the side of the box and this is how it connected in and it melted it down to the point where it blew it out the side. And once it blew out the side, it uh, caught air and uh, air oxygen created a nice big fire. And now I have black soot everywhere all over the garage. <clears throat> and so I will first roll the clip of afterwards, after putting the hose on it, getting it you know, put out and rolling it back out into the driveway. So that way my garage didn't catch on fire. That is. And this is why you keep your lithium in a metal can. Because had that been from underneath the seat, that had been all on fire. This is now literally where we've got it put out, but it was actually overcharging and caught on fire. But this is why you keep track of your lithium. If you don't keep track of your lithium, you have problems. Now, as far as the actual chopper itself, uh, we do have some surface rusting. Obviously, I didn't have this painted yet, so it's a little bit of surface rust, and this is where the other battery was held. You can distinctly see all the black soot, especially some that was coming out of the frame that's connected together. It uh, definitely charred the old can. It was hot. I have not had a chance to actually get this opened up and uh, look inside of it yet. You can see some of the cells in there. I did manage to keep it for it cut down, uh, got the fire on the rubber and whatnot. So I cannot get this can open 
due to inset into the rim. So I will get it torn apart and uh, get this can off of here, or at least get this opened up and then we can see what melted down on the inside. But as you can see, even inside of a metal can, still gets pretty hot. Now the other 14S battery that was underneath the seat was connected in parallel. It fortunately did not catch on fire, but it does have some charring. Uh, we will also get this opened up and see what the cells look like on it. So to the workbench. Get some screws out. to do this on a workbench but I figure I might want to do this in the garage so if I have an issue it's on something a little less flammable so it seems the cell is done all right it may just have been the uh, residual draw of being connected in parallel with the other one let's see what the other side looks like oh they were starting to get hot but that could have very well been from actual casing. It looks to be in line with so. Getting a little warm. So all the fuse is held up, but I'd imagine it's probably from where being hooked in parallel and the wire is shorting out, etc. Let's see, test voltage here. So, go to a little DC. Doesn't matter, I just read backwards. Ooh, a whole seven volts and dropping. So that pack is pretty much done for. So I end up having to salvage maybe some pieces, but I doubt it. And then uh, start with a whole new battery. But that was all new cells from battery hookup, all of them tested. So now we'll start from scratch again. So we got the tire removed. It's good and charred back here. This black stuff is everywhere, hence the bright colored gloves. It's all over. I'll have to get some good cleaning going on. But uh, we also have a good size puff in the can where it decided to push it out. Of course, some melted stuff on top, what used to be a sticker. Light's pretty good and well trashed, but uh, have the boy hold on to it for a minute while we open this one up. We're just gonna go right in through the top right here. If it'll open. Oh yeah, well. So uh, pretty much no battery. What is left of one anyway? So. That's all the loose cells. I imagine they uh, melted down all the little plastic holders and yeah, those are all lightweight. I mean, those are essentially empty now. So I'll be able to tear that back off of there. I'll get me another can. I've got quite a few of these. And then I'll see about, you know, building another pack with actual fuses on it. But uh, that's kind of surprising. Like, and that's all of them are just loose now. Must have melted the solder and all of them started to fall apart. And, uh, let's say uh, that one's probably going to read zero volts. But uh, so, yeah, this definitely goes in line with the lithium safety. So we will have to get some more modifications, a new box, some new battery cells, build a new pack. Maybe I'll try and make one bigger to fit this, but uh, until uh, we get more of it, you can check out the original build of the uh, when it actually ran, and then maybe some later on we'll get uh, the new batteries and a little bit better of a build going on, maybe some new paint.